This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow my back here with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the last episode, we convinced Yathura Band to let us join the Korriban uh, Academy as a prospective Sith, although we had to kill some like random students to do that. Now, there is a way to, to not have the students kill you. You can either persuade, or to kill the students, you can either persuade them uh, normally, or you could bribe persuade them and tell them to go get a free drink and pay them, and they run off. And if that happens, another guy comes up and, and a Sith just starts killing innocents, and that's a way to like basically kill a Sith and get light side points without just killing some like you know kids or whatever, which is what I did off screen. I probably should have showed that now that I think about it, but uh, I don't know, give you a reason to play the game yourself and just see the options that you can, because you can actually talk to your a band first before you try to get the medallion. And you can convince her to let you join, but if you don't have a high persuasion, you'll need the medallion to convince her to let you in. So there's a couple options this way. But anyway, uh, after redoing that, I decided to buy the stabilizer mask. Yeah, I'm going to look goofy for a while. I might take that on or off, depending on how I'm feeling. But I thought right now, maybe give myself a like a droid or a cyborg type of look. I don't know. It doesn't look that bad, but anyway... Let's uh, talk to you through a band. She taught us the Sith codes in the last episode, but I think we need a few more ways to get some uh, get some uh, uh, prestige. So, uh, and let's get to know her a bit better. She seems, she does seem as bloodthirsty as the Sith, but I'll admit that uh, I don't know. There's just something about her that uh, I think we need to get to know her know her a bit what better. What do you wish? I am eager to get this over with. So, uh, how do I get more prestige? You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds, or artifacts you have discovered. The Code of the Sith is the easiest way to start. I have told you all that you need to know of it already. There are a group of students who refused an order by Master Uthar to execute a group of civilians in the colony. Uthar declared that they were to be executed themselves, but the students escaped and fled before the order could be carried out. We are certain that they have not left Korriban. No doubt they have not gotten far and are simply in hiding. We just do not know where, exactly. If you were to locate them and carry out Uthar's order, I am sure he would be most appreciative. Shall I go on? That seems like that's going to be a bit tough being light-sided, but uh, well, we'll keep, uh, keep hearing more options and see if we have more choices. Or perhaps we can uh, save those students without actually getting the dark side. Who knows? I would suggest you talk to the other prospective Sith and find one you can gain an advantage with. I believe Lasho would be an excellent choice. She is too trusting. I have little doubt you could talk her into letting you help her somehow. Just make sure it is you who gains the advantage, not her. Be ruthless if you must. That is the only thing that will impress Uthar. The only other idea I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the surface. There are ancient ruins there which can be explored. It's possible you might find some artifacts or information in them which would please Uthar. It's difficult to say for certain. Hmm. Okay, so we got a couple options. There might be some more to go, so uh, let's ask about the ruins in general. I have been involved in the work there over the last couple of years, but not often. Most of the excavating is left to the students. What did you wish to know? Is there any way into the tomb of Nagasado? Not unless you are accompanied by Master Uthar, no. It is strictly forbidden. And I truly doubt you could bypass the doors to the tomb with anything less than ship blasters. Even then, perhaps. There's no other way inside? None. I do not even know how Master Uthar gains entrance, to tell the truth. Though I look forward to discovering that fact. I have searched many times, so do not bother. There is no other way. Do not fret, however. Simply get the prestige you need, and you will see the tomb soon enough. Basically, it's the game saying, yeah, don't even try, because we didn't have enough uh, programming or time while making this game to actually add an alternate solution to that. So, yeah, just saying, just the game going, eh, heh, heh. Anyway, why are the Sith so interested in these ruins? We could learn much about the history of the ancient Sith, why they were on Korriban, and why they left. Perhaps we could learn more about the origin of the Force itself. With that knowledge could come great power. Is there any way in... Oh, no, we already did that. Never mind, I've heard enough. As you wish. So... Do you know anything about Darth Revan? Revan? You mean Darth Malak's former master? 
Yeah, that's the one. Just curious, not that I know anything about him or what was it at one point. What was that? A apprentice? No, nothing. Very little. I never met him personally, though I heard he was a very powerful man. Very charismatic. In the end, Revan was outshone by his pupil. Such is the way of the Sith. Why? Is this dead man of importance to you? By the way, she says, uh, uh, great woman of great charisma if you're a female play character, just to let you know. But anyway, so he was very charismatic, you say. Hmm, go on. Do you think it's possible Revan might be alive, just hypothetically speaking? Anything is possible. Uthar's former master still lives, though he is in no condition to challenge his former pupil for leadership. Perhaps the same is true for Revan. Perhaps Revan is out there, somewhere, waiting to take revenge upon Malak. More likely, what we were told is the truth. Revan is dead. Malak would be foolish to leave his old master alive, considering all the knowledge Revan held. <coughs> Sorry, I was holding that in during the conversation, but... It's kind of funny, if you're playing Dark Side, the whole waiting to get revenge on Malak makes a lot more sense than if you're playing a Light Side version of Revan, but, uh... Uh, so, you wouldn't recognize Revan if the two of you met, like, nose to nose, right? Is there any reason I should? Beside the fact I did not know Revan in life, Revan was known for wearing a full helmet and cape. Perhaps Revan's body had been disfigured by the power of the Force. It is not unheard of. Regardless... I doubt I shall be meeting Revan any time soon. No, the reason you used a mask is because Bioware wanted to make sure that the secret of Revan wasn't shown until that point in the game which they showed it off. Because putting people in masks makes it easier to hide secrets. You know, it's hard to hide stuff when you don't actually hide it, you know. Well, I mean, you could use a rubber mask, I guess, but that's still a form of a mask, you know. But anyway, I just... <laughs> uh, you mentioned that Revan came here before? Both Revan and Malak came to Korriban when they discovered the tomb of Nagasado. That was before my time. Actually, I like the fact that she also mentioned Revan wearing a mask never saw before, yet here I am wearing a mask now, even though I didn't when I first met her. But you know what I mean. Uh, okay. That's all I have to ask. Fair enough. Alright, enough with that. Uh, I don't know, uh, tell us about yourself, you know, where you come from, what's your favorite flower, do you like pizza flavored jelly beans, you know, stuff like that. About myself. I'm originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hut. I'm sure you don't need to know more. Ah, uh, huts. Always, uh, making slaves of the Twi'leks for generations in Star Wars history. Although I don't think that was originally... I think the reason that comes about is because in the original movie, I think it was six when Jabba the Hutt had, like, the Twi'lek dancers and stuff like that. They just kind of spread it upon that, and then they just wrote stories based off those images, you know. Uh... Okay, well, she didn't tell us much about that. Perhaps we'll get to know her later when we, uh, get more prestige, who knows. You have had an excellent start. Go, gain more prestige. Hmm. Like I said, she doesn't seem as cutthroat as the other Sith, but uh, perhaps this is just me just uh, talking out my butt. Perhaps this is just hopeful, hopeful thinking, but, uh, well, better to deal with her than, uh, than her master, right? Okay, so now we need to gain prestige, which is really the whole point. Oh, boy. We have a lot of uh, quest options available here, so let's uh, take a look at them. Corban, your thorough has told you that uh, that of your rivals, Lashao might be a good one to approach. She might be very well be easily tricked into help allowing you to help her. Your thorough says you might you must be ruthless if you were to take advantage of such a situation. Only that would impress Master Uthar. And that's gonna be tough being light side, but we'll see what happens. Uh, you've been told about some renegade Sith who uh, students who dis disobeyed a direct order given by Master Uthor to execute civilians. It is known that they have not left Corban or private hiding. Anyone who would eliminate them would likely gain favor for Master Uthor for the deed. Alright. Code of the Sith. Uthor has instructed you on the Code of the Sith. Master Uthor already stated that the first helpful to come to him with full knowledge of the Code could gain prestige. If you take it to him, make sure you remember it well. The Double Cross. Euthura Band has chosen you to be part of her plot to overthrow Master Euthura and take over the Academy. She didn't give you much choice in the matter. Euthura will help you gain enough prestige to be worthy of the final test at the tomb of Nagasadao, and then she expects you to help her kill Master Uthar. Oh boy. And uh, Korban. The star map of Korban lies at the tomb of Nagasadao, within the Valley of the Dark, uh, dark, 
Dark Lords. The tomb, however, can only be entered by Master Uthar of the Academy. He'll take you there for your final test once you succeed in gaining enough prestige. Doing so may be your only chance to reach the start map. I think that's it. Okay. Interestingly enough, they're actually, after this game, they, uh, I think a few years down the line, I think Dark Horse Comics did a, a series of uh, uh, comics based off Naga Sadao as well. Basically, any of the Sith that get mentioned here, most of them got a like a storyline based off of them. Uh, just like in short uh, comic uh, comic form. So, did I already save it already? Yeah, I did. Okay. Basically, I've just kind of covered my bases, make sure I'm all good to go. So, hey, let's talk to this uh, hopeful. Oh, uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Oh, Kel Alguin. Oh, I guess we hadn't seen you before. Is uh, something wrong? I. Oh, uh, uh, nothing. Are you sure? Uh, yes. My master always says I'm too trusting, too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't. You know. Well, good thing I'm not dark side, am I right? But I'm not a Sith yet. Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. And you're not? Well, I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. Well, how did you mean it then? I, I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you. Can I? You want to trust me? Oh, boy. Uh... Let's see if Force Persuade works on him. I just don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now I... I don't know. I have so many doubts. Did you just hear a scream in the background? That's funny. Uh, if it doesn't feel right, then perhaps you don't belong here. Uh, okay, yeah. Then perhaps you don't belong here. Hey, if we can save one more soul. But where would I go then? What would I do? Oh, yeah, the... Jedi Council and Dantooine's gone. Hmm. You can actually, interesting enough, I think if they're, uh, let's see. Well, let's see if we can convince them to join the Jedi with what's left of them, anyway. Uh, I, I don't know. I never really thought about it. Maybe I should seek it out. Give it a try. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, and we've convinced one guy to become a Jedi, or hopefully. Uh, by the way, if you do Korriban before Dantooine gets destroyed but after doing the third star map, you can actually run into that dude at the uh, Jedi Academy. But unfortunately, since uh, um, since the by this point in the storyline, the Dantooine temple has been destroyed, we won't be able to check that out, unfortunately. Oh, well. Although I always prefer doing the Korriban last anyway, because it is one of the harder planets to deal with. So, nuts. Do I have any security uh, targets for this? Because you, sometimes you can use a security tunneler to open, like, treasure chests and stuff like that, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to on that, so. Okay, well, let's see if we can destroy it without uh, losing all the equipment. Let's see, we get a Sith sniper rifle, a Sith assassin pistol, repeating blaster. Cool, we can sell those later. Because, uh, yeah, we don't really need, uh, a lot, a lot, I've gotten, most of the stuff I need to get to get the best stuff in the game now is pretty much, uh, um, viable, or you have to buy it now. All the stuff you could get, actually, there might be, like, one or two items I get that you can get for sort of free slash, uh, um, oh, what's the word, uh, Nuts, we can't get in there. Can we destroy it? Nope. Okay. Well, maybe we can get a key later or something like that. That's Uthar's room. I wonder why we need to go in there. Well, we want to go in there because we're a uh, RPG hero. We stick our nose in everyone's business despite uh, despite knowing us telling us otherwise. So, All right. Ooh, Mikael. Yeah, that's the guy who's a sadist, so uh, oh, this will be fun. It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. If I actually cared about becoming a Sith, you would be toast, but I don't care about that. <laughs> Whatever, I'm the one who's making it. Uh, I remember you, Mikael, right? That's right. You might as well just go home, you know. There can only be one Sith this year, and that's me. Why only one Sith? Don't you need more to fight? Oh, wait, no, the Jedi are pretty much on the ropes, and... 
and uh, Malak has everything in hand, so never mind. I was about to say, wouldn't you need more Sith to fight all the Jedi, but there's not really a very strong Jedi presence right now. <laughs> you better change your toe with me, I'm Darth Revan, punk. Uh, you know, let's just say that, see what reaction we get out of him. <laughs> Funny. Say that after I'm a full Sith, and I'll ground your face into the dirt just for fun. You hanging no. around still? Don't you have your own plans? Not that they'll help you. I'm in for sure, you know. What makes you say? Sh uh, what makes you so sure? You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? Well, uh, it would be an improvement. Um, perhaps you can give me at least a hint. I could, but what would be the point in that? See you around, chump. I wish I'd, I, I wish I'd put more points in my persuade. Oh well, if I was playing the scoundrel, that would be easy. But uh, nope, we're playing the we're playing the combat master variation of the. Get out of my way! Get out of my way, slaves! Hey, that's what we're supposed to call them while we're here, because you know, otherwise they won't let them inside. No, there's Dustal. Unfortunately, we can't do anything. Well, I mean, we could talk to him, but we don't have Karth on our team, so we'll have to do that later. I'll need to bring Karth in before. I leave uh, Korriban, or before I finish the the the, uh, the uh, story on Korriban. So uh, um, at some point I'm gonna leave and come back. Or maybe in the middle of a recording, come back with Karth. Uh, maybe switch him out with HK, because HK is only well actually HK actually actually had a few funny lines here, but uh, um, but uh, might because Julie's had the funniest lines out of all of them here. But anyway, let's talk to uh, Lash, Lash out while we're here. I remember you from the colony. You seem all right, though you'll not win the right to train before me. What colony? Have we seen her before? I challenge you to a duel. Uh, who are you? You don't remember? My name is Lasho. We met in the colony ever so briefly. What colony are we talking about? Is she talking about here? Because I don't, I don't remember. Hmm colony, huh? I don't remember. Uh, you're trying to become a Sith as well? Just figure that out, did you? <laughs> it just so happens that I have a surefire way of pulling ahead in this little contest of ours. You don't really have a chance. And what way is that? Uh, and what way is that? I found an artifact that will impress Uthar far more than anything you could ever scrounge up. I'll win for sure. Why haven't you brought it to Uther yet? I don't have it just yet. I'll get it when I'm good and ready. Which means you don't have it. <laughs> it's guarded, isn't it? So what if it is? I'll get it eventually, regardless. Nothing good comes without a bit of a fight. That's the Sith motto, more or less. Maybe I could, uh, well, all right, maybe I could help you get it. <laughs> well, we do need the prestige. Now, where are you going with this, I wonder? Help Quiet, me I don't know. Hmm. I suppose I could use some help. The artifact I know of certainly won't be easy to take. But why should I work with you? Because you want. <laughs> uh. Well, that's actually true. I've always wanted to work with beautiful ones. Flattery, is it? I suppose it's possible that Master Uthar could award both of us prestige. We'd be ahead of the others for sure. Unfortunately, the Holocron lies in the gullet of a Tukata mother. I can arrange for us to meet her, but you're going to have to help me in putting her down. That makes sense to you? Go into the valley when you're prepared enough. I'll be amongst the central pillars near the north end. Why do you think this Holocron is so important? Because it probably contains secrets from the time when the Sith ruins on this planet first existed. You don't think that Master Uthar would find that impressive? I guess that's true. What is a hol? What is a holocron? We know it is, but let's ask her anyway. A holocron, this holocron anyway, is an ancient recording device. It can store and display large amounts of information. Hmm. And I'm supposed to trust you? And I'm just supposed to trust you? You're the one who has to work on this, remember? You watch me, and I'll watch you. I don't trust you any more than you trust me. If you don't like that, don't come. Okay, okay, calm down. Jeez, see you there. Remember, the central pillar's in the valley. I'll be waiting, so don't take too long. 
I actually like Last Shadow's like character design. Like, uh, I mean, I'm not saying it's anything original. Whoop, there she goes. And sorry for scratching the mic, but oh no, I, I like the girls with the buzz cut. Like not like really where you short hair, but where they like they buzz it on the side and have like that. You know, either if they have the punk hair or something like that. I don't know. I think that's actually pretty hot. So. Yeah, I know you people want to hear hear what I think, like what looks good on women, but uh, I'm just saying, you know, like it's it's something different. Not saying I don't have any, I don't, I not that I don't like the long hair or anything like that. It's just you know sometimes if you get creative with it, uh, something kind of neat comes out from that. Okay, no treasures there. Such so the I'm other hopeful. You. You're all right. Trying for the academy, I see. Uh. So are you, obviously. I I swear I want to challenge a duel to everyone. As far as I know, you don't actually can do it because they're like, uh, no. Anyway, uh, who are you? The name's Chardin. Didn't I tell you that back in the colony? Maybe not. I guess the colony is that little area we, uh, we met each other in. Really? That's not much of a col- a colony- never mind. Uh, do you want to coordinate strategy? I don't work or play well with others. Thanks for the offer, though. Well, at least you're nicer than Meekle is about it. I mean, you gotta give him that. Yeah, looks like we're getting, uh, at least Lasho is helping us, although apparently according to Yathura, we should uh, go ahead and betray her, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to decide when we get there. We're trying to be light side as best we can. Oh, you know, there's, uh, there's Uthar. Actually, let's go and talk to him and give him the Sith code while we're at it. Save it again. I know, you all probably love it, me, when I save spam every other second. I'm sorry, it's a force of habit. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. Well, okay, well, how do I gain prestige, then? Oh, it is no more complicated than I said. Perform impressive deeds, or bring me a suitably valuable artifact from the Valley of the Dark Lords. Observation. We could begin by slaughtering the inhabitants of this building, Master. Would that be impressive? Really, however, you should seek out Euthura and get her advice. She is your trainer, after all, yes? Ah, uh, yeah, HK, give us the advice of kill everyone. That shit sounds like... HK kind of sounds like most modern gamers when it comes to pro solution problems, you know? Where is this valley? There is an exit that leads to the surface of the planet. The valley is only a short trip from there. It is not difficult to find. Uh, I want to know more about you, since you're going to be my master for a while, apparently. You wish to know more about me, do you? And why would I indulge your idle curiosity? Will we be good friends, you think? I strived many years to hone my power, until I was able to drive out my predecessor and rule the Academy. If you are smart, you will aim to do the same, or better. There is nothing else you need to know. Do not ask again, young one. Hey, I'm supposed to ask. I'm, a, I'm an RPG here. We're supposed to bug every character, everything about their like everything about their lives, even though no one would ever tell talk to us about that in real life. At least not in that type of awkward way. But I know the code that says now if you do this, by the way, you do get dark side points. So it's a way to get easy prestige. But uh, like I said. You do get dark side points for doing it, so, but uh, we're gonna do it anyway, just to show you the reaction for it. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only. Um. Strength. No. What? No, that is incorrect. I would have thought merely reciting the code to be a simple matter. Oh well. Dang it, I'm. Uh, okay, let me think for a second. I think it's. No, it's passion, isn't it? Okay. Sorry. I've slept since the last time I recorded the last episode, folks. Let's do it again. Then finish the piece is a lie. That is only... Okay, yeah, it's passion. Whoops. Through passion, I gain... Then it's strength. Through strength, I gain... Uh... Let's see... Power. Through power, I gain... Victory. Through victory. My chains are broken. The force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, are however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false? 
It is our passion that fuels the Force. False. No, it is tr true. Our passion, our hate and desire. That is what brings co conflict, which gives us power. Sadly, it seems you did not understand the code as well as I thought. Dang it. I'll be on my way then. Indeed. You have much to do yet. Alright. I was just showing you what happens when you fail or when you choose wrong answers. Where is it? Is it quest completed now? Uh, you did not learn the code of the Sith well enough to impress Methuthor. You will have to find other ways to gain prestige. Uh, and then this one. You encountered a Sith by the name of Kel Ogwin, who really didn't belong in the Academy. In fact, you advised him to think about joining the Jedi instead. Kel took your advice to heart, decided to leave the Sith and think about it. Who knows, perhaps someday you'll find him amongst the ranks of the Order. Yeah, except that won't happen because Dad Tawain is destroyed at this point in the story. I almost thought about uh, having a separate file to where it went to me doing a Korriban like, first and just me running through that version of my character. That way I'd be at like lower levels, be highly different, difficult, or at least the first to third star maps, and then go to... Well, actually, it'd have to be the first or second map because as soon as you leave the planet after the third one the uh leviathan storyline happens so uh i thought about doing that but then again i realized i'm really lazy Greetings, so young. anyway let's uh uh oh? do let's click through his dialogue really quick just really, do uh however uh, there is an exit that leads kind of just want to unlock all this more? character stuff i strived many years there is nothing else you Oh, by the way, if you want to start messing with the double double cross scenario, which is a more prudent if you're dark side, you can tell them about Yathura, and let's just say it goes on from there. But uh, we're not gonna do that. We're we're gonna take we're gonna just let go with Yathura, and not be double crossy all the time because we need at least one ally in this. Anyway, I know the code. Of the then Sith. finish the code. Peace is a, a passion through passion, strength through strength, power through power. Victory. Through victory. My chains are broken. The force. Yes. Okay. Tell me then, true or false? Uh, victory by any means is desirable. Uh, that'd be false, wouldn't it? Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. All right. See you later. Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. Now we're gonna need some more. I could swear you got dark side points for for that. Hmm. Oh, okay then. Well, let's read the. You have managed to gain some prestige, impressing Master Uthar, but it's not yet enough for him to declare you the victor in your contest with others. Speak to Uthar and continue to look around the academy in the Valley of the Dark Wars to find ways to curry favor with Master Uthar. Yeah, I could swear you got dark side points for doing that. Huh. I could swear when I did it earlier, so... I, mean, I, th I think the south door takes us uh, out. Yeah, we can go... We can still leave. Basically, as long as... Basically, before you get Uthar uh, to get, take you to Sadal, make sure to go back and get... Uh, 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 get Dustal, basically, taken care of. Because I think, depending on which way you end it, uh, Corban gets kind of cut off from... Uh, from it, kind of like what happens on Kashyyyk, so you have to be carry because, like I said, I messed up on that one and finished it a little too early, and, uh, well, it looks like we got Sith around here, let's see what's inside these things. I don't know if we'll, uh, actually, I wonder if they say anything. The latest reports say the Republic is on the run. <laughs> 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 Okay, you started attacking each other during the middle of that. Thanks. Okay, anyway. Huh. Another hopeful wandering about the academy. <sighs> I suppose you want to know how to get prestige. We well, don't have to sound that bored about it. Uh, and who might you be? I'm one of the academy trainers, of course. You'd do well to watch your tone with me, hopeful. I'll be one of your instructors when and if you reach your final test. Hmm. Final test, huh? Oh, yes. You gather prestige to earn the opportunity to take the final test. You don't automatically become a student. <laughs> You'll see. I don't like that laugh. Do you know how I can get some prestige, though? 
<laughs> As if I didn't have better things to do. Has anyone told you about Jorak Un? Uh, no, who's Jorak Un? It sounds like a goofy name. <laughs> well, the first thing you should know is that it's not a name you should mention around Master Uthar if you can avoid it. Jorak Un was once Uthar's master, you see, and the head of this academy. He went a little insane, however, and Uthar forced him to flee to the surface and hide. It seems that Jorak has been spending his time kidnapping students who wander into the Valley of the Dark Lords. No idea why. I've also no idea why Uthar doesn't do something about it. If you want prestige, however, you'll find that hermit, as everyone calls him. You'll find Jorak and either kill him or bring back anything he's been riding. Uthar would like that. Now be gone. I have better things to do than chat with lost hopefuls. You've been so pleasant, my dear. Anyway, uh, yeah, she is a Sith, so what can you do about that? If Master Uthar gives you an order, you'd better follow it. There were some students who disobeyed him, and now they're hiding out on the surface somewhere. Oh, good. Thanks for the exposition. The latest reports say the Republic is on the run. Before long, yeah. the Sith will be ruling the entire galaxy. All right, we've heard that before, but anyway, sounds like we've gotten to know some very nice people at the Sith Academy. Oh boy, sounds like reminds me of my first day at school back when, uh, actually any day at school at any version, whether it be elementary, middle school, or high school. It's going to be a lot of awkwardness and me being the kid sitting in the corner eating his lunch by himself. I actually like doing that. I don't know. I, I was never a fan of company myself, but anyway, can our heroes get through the Sith Academy with their light side? <laughs> light sidedness attack or will they be corrupted by the dark side uh, just because they need to get to the star map to save the galaxy do the ends justify the means find out one of those answers on the next episode of star wars knights of the old republic thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time and may the force be with you